Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge, back with another tutorial. This time we're going to be making this gummy candy ring. And after you watch this tutorial, you'll be able to make one too. And you won't even need insulin. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do, sorry, cube, get rid of cube, add in a torus. So shift A or go to add, either way, mesh, torus. I'm going to go to this add torus thingy here, and I'm going to put in the properties. I'm going to say 0.5 for this. So one meter, 0.5 meters. Looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten this out a little bit. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to go to my edge, edge select. Okay, I'm going to hold down alt and click on this ring. And I'm just going to leave my mouse over there. So I'm going to pull this down with the move tool. I'm going to hit alt again, select this guy. And let's see, maybe I'll pull this guy. While I'm holding alt, I can hold shift down as well. Click this ring. And while I'm still holding alt and shift, click this ring, pull them down a little bit, flatten that out. Maybe do the same thing here. Okay, so I will uh, hit alt, select this, hold down shift while I'm holding alt, select this, shift while I'm holding alt, select that, and move those guys up. So it kind of flattens this out a little bit and gives us more of the shape we're looking for. Great, done. Hit tab. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to give it a subdivision surface. To do that, you can go over here to modifiers and you can go to add modifier and you can hit subdivision surface or you could hit control three on the keyboard, one or the other, doesn't matter. It gives you a view of three, subdivision levels three, render two, I can change that to three, not a big deal. I ha kind of have the cool shape that I want. Like it, dig it, great. So what I'll do now is I'll add a quick floor. Shift A, mesh, plane, make this maybe 50, I don't know. Click this guy and I'm gonna drag him up a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit Y. I'm gonna go to the move tool so I can, I can hit this. And if you don't wanna drag your mouse all the way here, just hit shift space bar, hit move, or you could just hit G. I don't care, they all work, okay? And pull your little thingy up there. So it's kind of sitting on the ground. All right, there we go. So while I'm at it, maybe I'll hit zero, go into camera mode. I'll hit N on the keyboard, or you could hit this little icon here. Pulls this out, I'll hit lock camera to view. Now if I hold down shift and I middle mouse drag, I can pan around. And if I use the scroll wheel, I can zoom in. So I'll just get a look, a camera angle that makes me kind of happy. That's it, good, camera's done. Now I can hit lock camera to view, take that off and go back out. So now what I gotta do is get rid of this stupid light, stupid light gone. And I'm gonna give it the shader. So to do that, I'm gonna hit this guy. And for the purposes of this tutorial alone and this one alone, I am going to give him a, a UV texture that is not the norm, but it's going to work for what we want right now. So to do that, I'm just going to go to UV editing, go in here, hit tab, make sure you're in tab, hit A to select all, and you can see that that lights up all of your UVs here. I'm going to hit Z over here to go to orthographic view, then I'm going to hit UV, and I'm going to say project from view. <gasps> oh no, that's wrong. No, it's not. For what we need here, it's perfectly fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit A, select all that. I'm going to hit S to scale it up. Scale it up, or you can use one of these tools over here. They all work. I don't care. Use whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. And that's good. Fine. We set the UV. Wonderful. Thank you. Good. Go back to the layout. Now we're going to give it the shader. So I could go over here to shading. Uh, I just, I got so used to doing this. I'm going to go here and I'm going to pull this up from here. So I'm going to go to this little my mouse turns to a plus. I pull this up. It gets another window. I'm going to change this window to shader editor. And with this guy selected, Taurus, who I can now call gummy ring, I'm going to hit new. It gives me a shader. And while I'm at it, I'm going to hit rendered. This goes into Eevee. I don't want that. I want to use cycles for this particular one. So I'm gonna go over here to this little icon, change it render engine from EV to cycles. And 
But while I'm here too, I'm gonna to go to world. I'm gonna change color. I'm gonna pull that up to about white. So now I kind of have this nice kind of global illumination thing happening that's illuminating my scene. And I'm gonna pause the video and save this while I'm at it. Okay, so I saved it as gummy ring, blend, whatever. And now I'm gonna give it a shader. So to do that, I can go to base color here and I can get it kind of a gummy, I can give it a gummy look. So I can go and maybe I'll just give it green for now. Roughness, I'll take up a bit. And transmission, I'll pull that up. I don't have to go all the way. You could go all the way if you want, uh, but I'm not gonna go all the way. Uh, I'll go about there, maybe 0.7 something or other. And that kind of gets a gummy. And I don't have any lights in the scene now, so I'm gonna add a light just so you could see what's going on here. So I'm gonna add uh, light and I'll say area, pull him up, pull him out. And I can use these rotations over here to just kind of rotate him. So he's staring at our Taurus. I could go to this little light thing and maybe put it at, uh, I don't know, something really hot. 5,000, good enough for me. And I can go back to camera view by hitting zero, select this guy, and now you can play with the transmission. And see here we have a really, if I turn the transmission up all the way, we really have like kind of gummy worm look, okay? And you don't want the roughness down, that just makes it look like glass. So the roughness up makes it look more like, uh, I don't know, like gelatin. But these guys don't have it so crazy, so I'll take it to about there. That's fine, point, point whatever, I don't know. I'll, whatever, I'm gonna leave it there. And now I'm gonna give it its split down the middle look. And here's why we gave it the UV texture before. So to do that, I'm just going to go, uh, if you have Node Wrangler installed, okay, edit, preferences, add-ons, go in here, type in Node, make sure Node Wrangler is checked. You can then select your principal shader, hit Control T, and you get a nice setup with UV plugged in, mapping there, and image texture here. We don't need the image texture, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with a ramp that we can control. So to do that, I'm gonna select this, I'm just gonna hit Control, or Shift, I'm sorry, I'm gonna hit Shift S while I'm inside here, choose Converter, and Color Ramp, and that changes this to a color ramp. And now you can see, being that we have the UV that we made plugged into here, we can play with this. And we can bring the black in, and we can bring the white in to meet it. And we can find that kind of happy medium place around there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, they kind of blend and bleed into one another. And I can leave one side white, or I could change it. Yeah, I'll change it, why not? I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do red here, and over here, I'm going to do green, which you don't see because I didn't do it. And push him a little bit more. Cool. So now, you see there, we have what's shaping up to be our gummy, gummy worm thingy. Okay, so there we, we start having this, the beginnings of our gummy, gumminess. So I can even go here, hit down, hit control, Maybe uh, pull this down a little bit, just so it darkens that a little bit toward the edge, makes it just a little more punchy. Uh, leave it, whatever, doesn't matter. So now we're gonna add the sugar granules. And here's where things start to get really, really cool. Okay, so let's make the sugar molecules. So to do that, I'm gonna go to add, mesh, icosphere. I like icosphere because it gives me enough resolution and it's squared off enough that uh, it, it kind of tricks the eye into believing that it's kind of crystalline and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm gonna go here to modifier and I'm going to say displace. It blows up, not cool. Hit new, goes back down, still around, not cool. So I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna change from image or movie to stucci, 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 stucci. I'm gonna go back to modifiers I'm gonna change local, see, watch this. If I do this and I duplicate this, it's gonna be really dull. I'm gonna change local to global. Now, if I move through this, it's kind of like moving through the texture, all right? Pretty cool. So I'm gonna give it a texture. So I'll give it a material. Hit new, I'm gonna call this sugar, and watch this. If I duplicate this now, shift D, move that out, shift D, 
move that out, shift D, move that out. Watch this, and you keep doing it. Cool, so I get this whole like bunch of these. So now they're all different, all different objects. And I'll hold shift, select each one of these. Now I'm gonna hit control G to group them. It's gonna say name the collection. Collection will be sugar, C for collection, I guess. Well, enter, done. I can move that out of the way now. And we're gonna use that and apply that to this guy. So I select him, I go to particles. I hit this little plus icon here. It says particle settings. I choose hair, leave everything as is, hit render, render as. Set a path, I'll choose collection. Instance collection will be sugar C for collection, and it just throws all of those over here. Then I could say object rotation, which is cool. I could say pick random. I don't want whole collection. Then I'll just change the scale down 0 0.005. And let's see if I do scale randomness, not really good. I'll go down to children. I'll say interpolated. That adds a lot more. Display amount, say about 50, and I have a covering of these guys. Now it's way too hot, way too covered, so let's see if I add in some scale randomness. It breaks it up just a little bit. And maybe 0.001, turn down scale randomness, 0.0025. That's pretty good. And now I have some granulation on my thing. So if I go here, rendered, I now have sugar on my thing, but it looks more like sprinkles and not really sugar. So we're gonna take care of that next. So let's add in another layer of these and I'll go in particles, let's see, gummy ring, go on gummy ring, gummy, gah, gah, give me that. New, I'm gonna rename these guys. So this guy I will call uh, let me see, I'll turn him off inside of the rendered view so we don't see him right now. And I'll call him um, small. And I'm going to call these guys large. And let's see what this looks like. So I'll go to hair. I'll leave number at a thousand. Okay. Render as collection. Whole instance. Sugar. Scale this way down, 0 0.008, mm, 0 0.005, scale random, I could do 0 0.008, that's fine. And then I'll go to interpolated, and that's gonna add our interpolation. So now I could turn them both on here and see what that does. Let's look at that. All right, so now it's covered, kind of covered mostly in sugar. And if I hit zero, this is what the camera sees and I have kind of a sugar coating, but it's not sugar yet, so don't hit that thumbs down yet. All right, so check this out. I'm now gonna go, I'm on the sugar material here and I'm going to say transmission, I'm gonna turn this to one. And then roughness is at 0.5, I don't need to be too rough, point one five and you see that we have an issue if I go in closer here okay you can see that yeah it's it is kind of transparent but it's very very dark now I could go and turn up my render settings here so I could go into light paths and for transparency, I could turn that up. So like I could turn that to like, I don't, know, I don't know. I could turn it to like 32 if I want. It's only gonna use what it needs. Transmission, I don't know, 32, why not? And it's still not gonna really change what I'm looking at too much. It will in the final render, but it's not gonna really change much here. So we're gonna do a little magic trick. And I know some of the purists are gonna look at this in horror and go, no way, you can't do that. My, no, my, no, it doesn't work, no, no, no. But trust me, it's gonna look cool for the shot. So being that we have this lighting happening and we have all this white around it and everything and this is being shot in a nice white area, I can go ahead and I can do a little trick. So I can add in, Shift A, I can add in a shader. 
I'm going to say a mix shader. Mix shader. Where's my mix shader? Okay. And I'm going to drop him on top. And then I'm going to go, and I'm going to add in Shift A, Shader, Emission. I'm going to pull in an emission shader to the second row. And now it starts looking like it's actually giving off light, which we don't want. So my factor here, I could do this. I could turn it to like 0.1, something really small. And we start to see the glints. So we'll see the glints and we'll see it looking a little more sugary, but it's still not enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, shift A, and I'm going to pull in an input and I'm going to say Fresnel. 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 It's actually Fresnel. And that's, that's not cool. I don't like what it just did. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to factor, factor to factor. And now I see I have some transmission. It's looking sugary. And if I hit zero and I back out, now I'm getting that look that I want. It's looking pretty sugary. It's, it's kind of giving the properties of sugar that I, I want to happen. So what I can also do here is let's go to gummy ring. Let's go to large or small. Let's go to small. And I can even take the scale here. So I'll 0.0025, I can go 0.004 make that a little bit bigger so it covers a little bit more of it and I can also take down large so large scale let's see randomness 0 0.005 and now we're getting somewhere so what I'll do is for this time being I'm going to go to gummy ring I'm going to take off showing viewport and let's see Make sure my lock camera to view is not on and I'm going to add in another light. So I'm going to take this light, hit shift D, I'm going to move them over here and I'm going to rotate around. And now I go to gummy ring, turn it back on, turn it back on. I've got some nice lighting happening. And lastly here, what I could do is go to small and I can take the scale randomness blotch it up a little bit, make it more random. And now I have something that looks like it's kind of covered in sugar. So now what I could do is stack them. So I'm going to just duplicate these and stack them around and find a good camera angle and show you what we get. Okay, so I've stacked these up, and now I'm just going to go back to your gummy ring. I'm going to turn this on, and I have to do it for each one of these, so I'll turn these back on. Okay, so I found a good camera angle and moved these around a little bit, and I could still go ahead and, and change these, and they look a little uniform to me, but you're getting the idea. And now it doesn't really look too much like sugar as they're piled on top and this one's in shadow and it's not really working. So here's what I do to fix that. Here's another little magic trick that seems to work pretty well. I drop the strength of the emission, 0.1. And then I go to base color here and I'm on the sugar shader. See, this looks more natural, except you're, you're not getting a lot of reflection and refraction inside these sugar crystals. So to fake it, I can go to base color here and I could go to value I could turn it point or 1.25. Let's try that. It renders and there we go. So that's looking quite a bit better. So here's one I did where I just went and rotated these things around a little bit and made it look a little more like kind of natural and um, just mess with the, the gummies just a little bit. And you can see that you can get this effect and it starts working really cool for you and it'll look pretty passable. So, Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, share it. Hit that little bell notification so keep making more. And uh, hit me up in the comments and uh, let me know if you have any questions or, or concerns or anything. And uh, we will go from there. Thanks. Talk to you later.